But there are other strange celestial objects that never got a chance to shine. Not quite planets, not quite stars. These are the brown dwarfs. Brown dwarf is basically a failed star. University of Hawaii astronomer Michael Liu searches for these elusive objects. Stars produce a lot of light. They're very easy to see a long ways away. But brown dwarfs are very low temperature. And so they emit very, very little light. Uh, because they're so dim, it means we can only see them if they're very close to us. A brown dwarf has the same ingredients as a star. But it simply doesn't have enough mass to sustain nuclear fusion. If something is born with less than 8% the mass of the sun, then it, uh, it, it can't produce its own energy. It's essentially a failed star. Without fusion, these failed stars start to act more like planets. If you were flying in a spaceship across the surface of a star, you wouldn't really see any, anything that looked like clouds or mountains or anything like that. When you go to a brown dwarf, things begin to change. We think their atmospheres, in some ways, might be similar to things like ma very massive versions of the planet Jupiter. Uh, if you're familiar with pictures of Jupiter, you see Jupiter has all sorts of banding structure and clouds on its surface. Although we've never taken a picture of the surface of a brown dwarf, we think brown dwarfs may also have similar cloud structure. Now, these aren't normal kinds of clouds like we know about on the Earth. You have iron vapor making these clouds. And then the clouds may get thick enough that you get iron droplets raining out of the clouds. Obviously, a person wouldn't want to be there because these are molten iron. To date, astronomers have located only a couple hundred brown dwarfs, and they still have many questions about these elusive objects. For one, they know some brown dwarfs have disks of dust and gas around them. Might those disks form into planets? That's just one of many mysteries yet to be solved as we continue to probe the stars.